as a runner, we're kind of terrible at warming up and we're kind of terrible at stretching afterwards because really we just want to do the run. Hey, I'm Steph. I've been a physical therapist for 12 years and a runner for over 20. And I love to help runners get back to running injury free. So much so that I wanted to share some of my tips and tricks with you guys here too. Before we get started, please take some time to hit the red subscribe button and the bell so you get notified every time I release a new video and check out my website for more information. Hey, beginner runners, check out the link in the description below to get your free beginner's running guide today. As I've gotten older, I know how important it is to not only warm up the tissues, but stretch them out afterwards. And again, especially as a runner, because we are using the same muscles over and over and over for all of those miles, all of those footfalls. So they are bound to get tight um, and sore, which can lead to injury. So we need to stretch those out afterwards. And again, know yourself, know what gets tight on you so that you can specifically stretch out those areas after you run. Um, these are static. So you wanna hold them for 20 to 30 seconds, two to three reps, hold a little longer, do another rep if you've got an area that feels really tight or just feels really good to stretch. So here they are, check them out. All right, I like to start with a standing hamstring stretch. Here's my buddy Hobie again. He's going to help me out with my stretches this morning. I'll always take it down into an adductor stretch. So I'm going to bend my knees, drop my butt down, um, put my arms just on the inside of my knees, push out just a little bit. So you get an adductor stretch there. And then here I'm just adding in a rotation through the upper back. Then I'll do a standing quad stretch. So grab your foot, pull it up to your butt, make sure your um, legs are staying parallel leg is down so you're getting a good stretch 20 to 30 seconds of each on each side then I'll take that leg of the same side put my cross my um, ankle on my opposite heel and then just kind of squat down I usually have something to hold on to like I'm holding on to the wall here and you're just squatting down so you're getting a nice glute stretch with that I'll repeat on the opposite side so grab your um, foot bring your heel to your butt Getting a quad stretch, standing up nice and tall, 20 to 30 seconds, and then I'll drop that, cross my ankle over my opposite knee, and kind of sit back down, holding onto the wall for balance, into a glute stretch. Hobie's really just waiting for me to feed him breakfast. <laughs> okay, then I'll switch to a standing hip flexor stretch. So I'm in kind of a lunge position, Front leg is bent, back leg is straight, my pelvis is tucked under a little bit, and I'm gonna reach to the opposite, reach overhead with the same arm that's on the leg that's back, reaching to the opposite side. And so that's just gonna make sure we're getting the whole part of that hip flexor stretched. And then I'll switch to sides, other leg back is straight, leg in front is bent into a lunge, reaching away from that side I'm stretching and that's just getting the top part of that hip flexor added in and then last year I'm going to get my calves so I'll either do it in down dog or on a step so that's it again it doesn't have to take much time put in that time so that you can prevent injuries and keep yourself on the road longer um, and once again on myself I know specific areas that are tight or get tight as I run longer as I especially with like hill workouts tempo workouts um, intervals, stuff like that. I know certain areas are going to get tighter on me, so I make sure to so dynamically stretching them out before and then specifically static stretching them and foam rolling after. So it really has helped me through the years I've learned. So I want to share this knowledge with other runners so that they don't have to go through the injuries to get the knowledge like I did. Um, so it really is helpful to prevent injuries and to recover from injuries. So once you start feeling any little ache and pain, make sure you are stretching, foam rolling, getting at those areas right away so that they don't become a bigger problem. I hope this helps. If it does, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below on any of your uh, stretches you like to do post run um, or any routine, specific routine you have post run that has been helpful to you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.